man. We back. Um, Caneville, Footballville, and last night Miami opened up a can of whoop on Duke. Um, Duke didn't get a point on the board. Uh, did they even get a score Donut. position? Donut. Donut. They know. They got. They got across the fifty a couple, maybe three times the whole game, and that was it. Uh, and Mike I'm, Harley catches barely across the fifty. Mike Harley catches eighty nine yard touchdown, the longest play. Beautiful. Um, yes. I think it was the longest play this year. Yeah, this year. Yeah. This year, longest play. Beautiful, beautiful pass. By they King. put a game together last night, and everybody was thinking that they weren't going to put a game together because they had the time off. They didn't know who they was going to play. Yeah, well, you know, um, the, 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 the stigma about Diaz being 0 and 5 after oh, five weeks. I forgot about that. I forgot so about that. We all, we, we, everybody was like, well, you know, we don't do good after five weeks. We've been off for almost a month, maybe, probably right. three weeks. So um, I kind of thought we was going to blow it out. I didn't know we was going to beat them like that. Right. Um, it was, they played a full game from start to finish. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have we haven't seen a U on play this this good that game since probably 2017 Notre Dame game. Yeah, I'm talking about from start to finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that was no. A I, I agree. Game. Um, offensively, we started off slow the first two drives. We started off slow, but the defense the, they played a different defense yesterday. The defense they played yesterday, I didn't see this. It looked day. different? Yeah, it looked different. What looked different about it? I'm saying the defense alignment was attacking. They wasn't just trying to, you know, get off blocks, stuff mm -hmm. like that. They were just attacking, and then he was blitzing a lot. And it, was, it wasn't it was like recognized blitz. You know what really? I'm saying? He, like, had some, he had some 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 schemes. Some, man, it was one play where some disguise I thought, going on. I, I'm thinking Bubba Bolton is finna blitz. And then... And they say hike Bubba Bolton goes back in coverage and then you see Hall come and blitz and mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, okay. And that, it, it, it looked different yesterday, but they played a full game. Um, obviously, three weeks to propel, you gotta be, you gotta be ready. You gotta come on. They don't ever be ready. <laughs> they, they, yeah, 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 they, yeah. They, they, Time ain't never helped them at all. I mean, last night, I, I, one of the main things is the offense is clicking. It seems like it's clicking. King yeah. is getting better and better in that oh. offense. Um, he's a huge reason why we're winning, though. He's 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 the main reason we're eight and one. Yeah, the main he's reason. A, he's a huge and huge he's reason why reason we're winning. Um, he we don't give. I don't think we give the kids as much as credit as we should sometimes. He without King, if Nikosi was our quarterback in the same offense, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we probably be a 500 team or maybe below. Right, right. We got a straight leader. Baller uh, at quarterback, um, and it's kind of it, he's uplifted. Like every remember night. we spoke about that. Remember when we, we we was asking the players like King basically came in and changed the whole pers per perspective of the room, like the culture. Everybody saying, man, you know he he's a, he he expect a certain level of competitiveness right. in, in how you play. So it uplifted everybody. You know, the receiving room, they saying, well, King, expect this from us. Right. We got to step our game up. You know what I'm saying? Um, the defense always had always had that for, like, the last four or five years. Now the offense has it. Right. So now when you get a full team that has it, this is, you know, you get the results that, um, of last night game. You know, um, And then last night, um, a big part came back. LeVon Donaldson got it. Right. Came back as soon as he got in, instantly opened up a hole. Um, Cam Cam Harris breaks and scores a touchdown. Right. We, we've been missing him. I'm happy he's back. We've been missing yeah. him. We need help on O-line. Yes, we need to help him. So he's back. But like I say, from start to finish, man, that was one of the best games UM had in years. Yeah. Who does King remind you of? It seems sometimes he throws awesome balls. Like sometimes it's like, oh boy, that was like NFL. You know what I'm saying? Who does he remind you of? T, who can he remind you of? Any quarterback in mind? He... I don't know. I mean, I, 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 because of his statue, you would have to say like a Russell Wilson, maybe, or something like that. Um, but, I mean, that's... You think he could, he's a passer? You think he could pass like Russell Wilson? He's a pretty good passer. He's not bad. You know, um, mm -hmm. he just, they, they just needed time. You know, um, they need the time to gel. Um, obviously, with COVID coming in, being his first year here, he didn't get the the time to gel with the receivers uh -huh. like most quarterbacks will have. You know what I'm saying? So, um, 
But you see, the last few games, he's it's getting better. They better. jealous. They jealous. So it looked like he just needed the time to get with them. Say, hey, come on, you know, this is what we're finna do. And so that means he gone um, next year. Hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully not, man. Hopefully not. Yeah. So we gonna need him against that big game that next year, man. That's crazy. We we got Bama and Michigan State. Right. One year, man. So, but. so I mean, cause he's starting to look. He threw any interceptions last night? No, no. He, he's starting to look smooth. I mean, he's starting to look comfortable. Some of them passes come out of his hand, man, like pow. I man, he threw one to um on the Brevin Jordan score. Mm -hmm. That was a dart. Yeah. And um, you know, and, and one thing about playing quarterback, you have to throw the ball. You have to throw the receiver open. You have right. to throw the ball so he can get open. Right. You know, um, nine times out of ten, receivers aren't going to be open all the time. Right. But you got to throw the ball where well, they can get open. Right. And he's doing that right now. Yeah. And receivers are making plays. You know, um, the receivers are making plays, O line blocking, running back, running the ball. That was just an all around good game, man. And they put a game, yeah, they put a game together at, at, a, at, a, at a time where I just. I think I told you before the game started, we're going to lose. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said, you said, you <laughs> I'm said, like, man, these games get closer and closer, man. The night yeah. might be the night, man. And boy, they look totally different. Now, how good is Duke? <laughs> they're not, they're not good. <laughs> they, Duke we don't need Duke not good, but mm -hmm. what, what I said yesterday before the game, I said, man, you don't need a statement game. They need to make a statement to, to let everybody know that, yeah, we, we, you know, we here. You know what I'm saying? Because you, 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 you got. Three, four games in a row, close games, close games, down to the wire. They shouldn't be close. Well, you know, we don't really respect you. Y'all having close games when y'all supposed to be blowing them out. Right. So they had to go there yesterday and make a statement game, which they did. They punched them in the face and that was it. Right. They punched them in the face. Yeah, they punched them in the face. That was one of them old Tyson hits. Bam. <laughs> hey, man, listen, y'all stay locked in with us. We're going to be right back. People missing, <laughs> got COVID. Sam Brooks, we found out the Aaron King had COVID. Our uh, Um, So, who, who was the main ones that was out? Brooks? Brooks, Blades, and um, a defensive end. I mean, a defensive lineman. Yeah. They tackle, I think. Uh, um, those Hunt, the, I think it was Hunt. Hunt, Hunt yeah. Hunt, those are the main know. names. Uh, and they go out there like short-handed, man, and, and, and turn up on, uh, on Duke. Oh, McLeod. McLeod was missing, too. McLeod, yeah, McLeod. McLeod. He been missing all season, most likely. <laughs> Who else stuck out to you on the defense? 44? 44 played good yesterday. Yeah. 44 played good yesterday. Um, they they was better in open field. They, they was better open field tackling. They open, you know, they was tackling uh -huh. a lot better yesterday. Uh, uh -huh. Something, something that's been a problem. They tackled a lot better. They covered better. Um, although, although Kyle's missed the interception, I don't know. He, he posted. He got. He always what thirty push-ups. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah, right in his hand. Yeah, right in his hand. Uh, fifteen always play well. Yeah, fifteen. I mean, him and Quincy, him and Quincy, man, Roche, they played great yesterday. They pressured the quarterback constantly. Uh, Nesta Severa, he. Had another solid game. What is Nesta? Uh, a junior? A junior. Yeah, he's a junior. What do you um, what, what what do you think Nesta? How's Nesta grade now? Nesta look like an NFL player to you yet? Yeah, but not at a high draft pick. See, Nesta look like an NFL player to you? Not yet. I, like if he, it, you know, smart from come back, come back, build your stock. If he. He coming back. That's it. We not even gonna talk about it. He coming, yeah. back. he coming back. You know what I'm saying? Um, but he played good last night. He played night. good yesterday. Uh, Brevin Joy came out and played like like he's supposed to play. Right. You know, one of the best tight ends in the nation. Um, Mike Harley continues to he impress. continues to impress. Um, another hundred yard game for him. Um, Cam Harris came out, ran the ball a lot better than um, the previous weeks. Um, Cheney. No, probably our best running back as far as you say Cheney best running back. Yeah, as far as you know, Cheney Cheney don't Cheney don't get tackled for loss. 
he don't get tackled for loss. Um, and again, um, King, man, he's King is amazing. He's been amazing for us. Eight and one, man. He's basically the main reason we're eight and one. Right. Um, Shouts out to Diaz and the staff. The staff, they, they had the players, they had the team prepare right. yesterday. Yeah. They had to prepare. Everybody but Rooster. Rooster wasn't ready to play yesterday. <laughs> Rooster, Rooster came out, gave the ball, called the ball yeah. up. And Rooster came out, got hurt, pissed off, didn't want to lead up the game. Rooster had a rough game yesterday. Yeah, yeah. A rough yeah. three I mean, minutes. You know, being a true freshman, you know, you, you're you supposed to have a rough game. Yeah. You ain't supposed yeah, to just yeah. come in and be that good. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so, no, he got time. He got but, time. Um, um, I would love to see him. What was going on with the running backs? Why did they start? Like, why didn't Cam Harris start? Like, what? Yeah, I don't know. That was kind of. I, I was asking myself, and I'm asking people while you watching the game. I'm like, well, why Cam Harris not in the game? Right. When he fought with the ball, I'm like, well, damn, why the hell Cam Harris ain't in the game anyway? Like, then Cheney came in after that, didn't he? Yeah. And then, and, like, Cam started supposed to start the game off. Then you throw, then you throw Rooster in there, and then you let Cheney. Right. Destroy them, you know what I'm saying? Like that's a a good combination that we we've had for the season, you know what I'm saying? But yesterday they changed it up, right? Um, it worked, I, I guess. You know, yeah. for I, I, I would love to know it what happened work. with that. Um, uh, because Cam is a starter. Uh, we start off with Rooster, and that didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? That that works bad right off the bat. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna look into that, man. You know, um, did, did Mark Pope play yesterday? Cause I didn't see. Mark Pope play yesterday? I didn't see. I, I, I didn't even see him on. The, I mean, hmm. Wow, yeah, I'm watching the game right now. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't even know if he played. I mean, but yeah, um, I know. I, I told the fans. I say, man, if, if we if we have a good game, we're gonna drop a new shirt. But I don't know if we go to. Do we? Do, do we? Do we? <laughs> No, that was a great game. Now about that yeah. shirt, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, do we? I mean, but um, good game. Forty eight's up. Um, team played pretty good. You know, um, the best game they had. We got, we got, we got. Uh, we got, we got Carolina this week. Big game. Big, big, big game. Um, they ranked number seventeen or sixteen, something like that. Yeah. So um, our ACC chances are dead. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Kill that noise. It's done. Yeah. Um, Jake Garcia decommits. Jake Garcia decommitted from um, USC. <laughs> oh, big major, major, major. Yeah, Jake Garcia, Garcia decommits from USC. USC. Patrick Payton decommits from Nebraska. That's another one. Um, obviously, y'all know Terrence T. Two Lewis decommitted from Tennessee. Who else decommit? Man, decomm it's decommit season. Um, Savion Collins decommits from U University of Miami. Yeah. Um, it's decommit season, people. So um, Miami have a huge chance uh, at Jake Garcia. Miami have a very huge chance with Jake Garcia. Yeah, yeah. Miami has a huge chance with Patrick Payton. Miami have a chance with um, T Two. Miami have a chance with Macy Smith. If if um, yeah. if, if you had to, if you had to say yes or no, Miami Patrick Payton would Miami get Patrick Payton? Yes. If you had to say yes or no, Jake Garcia, would Miami get Jake Garcia? Yes. Anybody else you would like to add to the list that Miami may get? It's a, it's another player who I think that, uh, they're going to get. Um, he didn't decommit yet, but I feel like he's going to be a flip candidate. I don't know if you want to put that out there, but I'm, he's going to be a flip candidate. Um, and he's at a position of yes to the Oh, so yeah. you, you think Miami will get J.D. McBurrow too? Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, listen, that's three, yeah. <laughs> three strong ways, three strong. Now, J.D. McBurrow, I don't know. Percentage-wise, from information got out there, I, I I don't know, man. He's Michigan commit. He just came from Michigan. He was up there with JJ, um, with the quarterback from IMG. They had a nice time. Uh, Miami, Miami fighting for him. You know what I'm saying? They fighting for him. Awesome kid. Kid can straight ball, straight baller, and, and they could use him. Um, everybody want to know about T2. <laughs> everybody want to know about T2. Everybody want to know about Mason Smith, Jake Garcia. Still ask me about Jason Marshall. Um, Why we still asking about Jason Marshall? He, is he for some reason he's wavering they, or something? For some reason they still feel like I, I guess they is is they think they obligated to keep asking me about Jason Marshall. <laughs> Savion Collins decommits. Savion Collins decommits. All of Kane can stand up and say I told you so. <laughs> 
I knew he was Jesus man. I knew he wasn't. I knew he wasn't dedicated. And I, 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 I just tweeted to another King fan. I was like, listen, man, you need to go watch my video on how deep yeah. it is working. Because it ain't always the kids. But I reached out and I and I um I heard they just went their separate ways. Like we both they decided to go their separate ways. Um so Savion man, I wish him good luck, man. Good kid, man. I hope he lands somewhere that's gonna take care of him. Gonna be he gonna I be a beast. Seen my gonna be a beast uh wherever school he land. But um Yeah, I mean, you know, it's 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 decommit season, it's flip season, it's it's you know Santa Day is a uh, week away, like a week and a half away, uh, December 16th. Right around the corner. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, um, That's early Sunday. Yeah, early Sunday day. Um, you are expected to probably sign, I think 14 or 15 yeah. early. Um, 11 of them going to come in early. Um, so, um, they after another cornerback named Demaris uh, McGee. Um, you know, the, quarterback, the cornerback situation is still weird. It's, I don't know. <laughs> I'm that's weird. I hope they got a plan. Uh, but you see, yesterday we literally only had two corners. Like, who was the backer? Who would came in and won the one that got hurt? Oh, Clark, Clark, Marcus Clark Marcus came Clark. in. He got an interception actually. He yeah. got an interception yesterday. Uh, Marcus Clark. Um, so. I mean, they they playing a real thin at cornerback. Uh, we'll see how that shake out though. Um, but yeah, man. So a lot just picked up in the last couple of weeks on the recruiting front. Uh, Miami goes out, play their best game on the bye week since Manny's been coaching. Uh, totally turn turn things around. Manny usually, and he's like, what, 0 5 when he gets yeah. extra time to prepare? <laughs> now he's 1 and 5. That's good for Manny. Um, anything else we got, man, for these Canes? That's about it, man. Um, big game this week. Yeah. You know, um, we, we we got to we, we go we got to finish the season out strong. Uh, big two. Still think they got a chance to make the playoffs? <laughs> what you think? A lot, a lot gotta happen. Lot gotta happen. <laughs> lot gotta happen. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Don't take three motherfucking things, and that's what. Big time players step up and.